faith-based, hanging on to every word from their orange messiah as gospel. A dark comic genius setting himself on fire, seducing the media from day one, distracting as the mischief is in full press, packing the federal courts for life, with like-minded right-wing arch-conservatives, maintaining the exact substandard to perpetuate lies, dismantling social programs, erasing humility, chloroforming humanity, subjugating women not to have control over their own reproductive Rights, alienating allies, embracing tyrants. For us to be appalled by the present immigration policy, separating children from parents who have illegally entered the country. Where is the action? Where is the protest? Why are the streets not full with indignation? Placards, shouting, and marching feet, disavowing any approval, any connection to this orange menace and pandering sycophants. This is an overt human rights violation. Not rising up against it only proves our continuing hypocrisy, our history's continuing hatred. We slaughtered the indigenous of the new world and defiled the pristine land. Through our self-righteous piety for God, glory, and gold, millions died. We slaughtered our American indigenous, stole their land, and then the concentration camps of reservations separating their children from their parents, putting them into orphanages, taking their language away, taking their culture away, all under the auspices of Christianity, punishing these children harshly if they didn't abandon who they were. And African slaves brought to the Americas from 15 to 1866, affecting 12.5 million, where 1.8 million died in transit. 388,000 brought to the United States. King Cotton ruled today. Capitalism at its best demonic indifference, rationalized through Christianity, leading to the Civil War, rationalized pro and con, killing 700 plus thousand of ourselves. And then, in spite of the January 1, 1863 Emancipation Proclamation by Lincoln, slavery continued. Jim Crow, he an inch which affected 800,000 lives in the South for 80 years, finally ending December 12, 1941 by Roosevelt. But segregation continued overtly in the South, covertly in the North. All the lynchings of African Americans, 4,412 different southern states from 1877 through 1950. All the photo ops by those who relished the event, making sure their face was clearly documented. Men, women, and children posing in their Christian righteousness, their specific communal piety. And then, concentration camps for our own Japanese citizens during World War II under Roosevelt. And now, 
slavery, regardless of race or sexual orientation, still exists. Too many still not given an even playing field. Opportunity, not a handout, but an environment so to self-motivate, an environment demonstrating the tools so to evolve, so to contribute to the greater good. This is a world of the deaf and blind whose only interest is its own reflection. Believing in one geopolitical God, the only way towards salvation, indifferent to truth and science, self-involved demagoguery, politically corrected beyond the enlightened of merit, relegated into numerical quotas of appearance and sexual proclivity. This fake news movement beyond rendering us to not know what to believe, exhausting us into such extreme pacifism, succumbing to the special interests in financial control, total imperial power, solely predicated upon greed, hiding behind patriotism, perverting our most elevated utopian legal document. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. An intellectual exercise created by the most incongruous of men, tearing it down at every opportunity, through the courts, through bought legislation. We did it. Unleash the corporate banking oligarchy of military theocracy. Constant war, constant surveillance, constant suppression, constant antagonism towards the unity of dignity, blurring what is most human when fighting for our rights with every psychotic nihilist anarchist who only once martyred him. Now, Stealth is the ultimate freedom. Social media has opened the floodgates of chaos. Opinions like assholes. Everyone's got one. And AI is listening, documenting every transaction, every interest, every opinion, every titillation surmising our motivations and outcome. America is dying. She is seriously towards terminally ill, poisoned by these very ununited states of united hatred and special interests. How can we possibly be moved by children separated from their parents? when it is we who have separated ourselves from the greatest utopian legal premise, promise, ever created. If America is allowed to perish through the wanton greed of the corporate United States, the lights will go out around the world. Material-driven fascism will be the striving impetus, whether from the boardroom or the individual. Soulless, reptilian lust, impulse-driven, predatorily cannibalistic nihilism. Enough! <laughs>